So hi guys, I'm Steve Hardesty uh, with Dreamcatcher Photography. I just received this new camera bag from Vivas Gear, which is their top shelf. And what it's known for is you can wear it as a sling bag or a backpack, and you can sling it around here real fast when it's in sling configuration. Open it up and easily change your lenses and get to your camera real quick. Uh, without having to ever put any of your stuff on the ground. So we're going to be giving it a try. I just got it. I'm going to take it out of the box. It's supposed to come with uh, <clears throat> a bunch of petition stuff for inside and the rain cover also. It's not cheap. Even with their discount they're offering right now, it's still $300. So... It's a lot of money, but you know how it is when you you end up with so many bags, but then they don't do what you want them to do. And so here's the sling bag itself. This is the top that it's supposed to be so famous for. It's zippered closed now, but supposedly you can keep this zipper unzippered and use this quick lock connection and open it up and it is it's very stiff it's not super loose uh, it's very light it's but it feels very well padded if that makes any sense this is the rain jacket for it um, I mean it looks very well made it's not as big as I thought it would be I don't think it's one that you carry everything in but you can carry a lot in it the way they've got it set up right now, it's perfect to have your camera right here. And I could take this off and it would accommodate my 200. But only one side has this uh, quick connect thing. And uh, supposedly, once that clicks, you can use it just like that. The top's real stiff, so stuff's not going to fall out of it. And it's got all sorts of places for a tablet, laptop and other things. This is the other strap for when you're using it as a backpack. I'm surprised how light this is compared to my old low pro backpack. That's it for right now. I'm going to add to this to see as I take it apart and reconfigure it and load my stuff in it and you can see what I think about the bag. So I told all you photographer friends that I was going to do a little bit more of a review of the Beavis Gear uh, sling bag, the top shelf model they call it after I got it loaded with stuff. And I do have it loaded with stuff, too much stuff, but I did that to show you just how much stuff it will carry. It's a 22 liter bag, which is probably about the right size. I actually thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but I have found that I always put too much stuff in my backpack, whether I'm actually backpacking or whether I'm doing photography. I always overload. So that's probably a really good thing. I think the 22 liter is a good size. It goes from backpack, the other straps over here folded down, it goes from backpack to sling bag very easily. There's tutorials on their website that tells you how to do that. It works pretty darn good. Uh, the sling bag part is pretty phenomenal. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, it's very comfortable for a sling bag. It won't be comfortable if you overload it like it is right now. It could be uncomfortable, but if you do it the way only the stuff you need for that particular uh, trip, whether it's wildlife, portrait photography, on the street photography, I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. So first of all, uh, well, I think I can show you that after I get it on. So this is what it's known for. The fact that it can sit like this, you can pop it open with this. Uh, I think it's it clips, but I still... It's part physical and part magnetic, I'm not sure. Nice stiff top uh, that you could use for a table if you need it. Uh, but this is, the, this is the big deal, is that it can go from sling bag to this real quick. Pop this open and get to your camera. Take your shot. You decide you want to change lenses. You can pop your lens off here, set it down. Pull out your other lens and put it on 
and you never have to lay your camera bag down or you never have to lay a lens down. You don't have to worry about it rolling off of a rock or a log if you're trying to keep it out of the wet. Um, that part to me is great. So uh, since I've already got it open, I'll let uh, Susie come in a little closer here. Now this is way, way overpacked. All right. If I was going out, out to just do a wildlife thing, which is usually where I'm end up having to change lenses, I would have either this 40 to, what is it, 17 to 40, and my big lens, or my 24 to 105 and my 200 lens. I would not have my flash on a daylight uh, wildlife thing. I would not be carrying my nifty 50 or my 85 portrait lens. But if I was going on a portrait shoot, I'd have my 24 to 105. I might have my 85 with me, and I might have my 17 to 40 with me. Or seven, yeah, 17 to 40. But and and my flash. But I wouldn't have this with me if normally. Some of you might, I wouldn't. Uh it just it just depends on what the project is, as well as you well know. Now I think that it would probably really be great for someone that's using the R series cannons or the mirrorless of some other brand, because you could easily put two camera bodies in here and a couple portrait lenses. Uh, not only do I have my flash in here with my mag mod attachment, but you know the, the mag mod diffuser folds up. It also comes with a rain jacket. And it came with a few extra dividers so you can do different configurations. Um, plenty of room to stick some batteries in here. But that's all that's all the main camera stuff. Uh, this doesn't just lock like that. It has a full zipper if you want to keep it zipped. But if you're actively using it for a project, this is really convenient. It has a handle here. It has a handle on top. It has a handle here and a handle here for when you pull it around from the sling back side. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything else I need to show you here. Uh, oh, it also has an opening here for if you had it up like this. You could reconfigure it where you could bring your camera out right here and have a lens right here too. So it would still work that way if you wanted it to. So I'm going to zip this off. Or maybe I can. Maybe I can show you some stuff from here. No, I'll zip it off. This is the other. This is the other strap for when you're using it with a backpack. But I don't know unless I'm doing on a long hike. Most times I'm going to be having it in the sling mode. So. Here's what else it has to offer. I will get this out of the way. This is the side, the side opening that I just told you about, which you, you could use it, you know, when it's just setting down, you uh, don't have it on. It's got two small openings here. Uh, this is, uh, you know, half that deep, same depth over here. You put tons of stuff in there. You unzip this, and it only unzips so far. But this top thing opens up. You've got a, a compartment that's open to about right here. And inside of that, you have yet another compartment with zip shut. Inside of that, here we have a deep full pack compartment. You can slide a laptop. A, um, a tablet. It's nice and padded. You can slide a tablet in there and not have to worry about it hurting your uh, screen or anything. Plenty of places to put SD cards, uh, you know, batteries, anything. Uh, and that zips right. All the zippers are very heavy duty. They've got the cushioning so overlapping that sometimes it's a little difficult to get the zipper to go around. But the zippers are heavy duty. They'll hold up good. I'm, I'm positive of that. This handle on the side is triple, triple heavy duty stitched. This, this one's triple heavy duty stitched. This one is stitched deep down inside. And the bottom has like uh, another super heavy duty uh, canvas lining on it. So if you do set it on the ground, the, 
it came with a, it comes with a tripod holder. So there's a compartment in here and there's a compartment up here. And this is, uh, it's got these two little straps for the top of your tripod. And this one is so hard to get to. <laughs> but it's something that I will not use very often because I carry my tripod in a different way. But it's got this little pocket down here that folds out. And there's also two straps just like this that I'm not going to dig out because it is so tight to get your fingers in there to pull it out. But two little straps that are adjustable just like this. So you set your tripod here, put the straps around the legs of the tripod, and put the straps around the top of the tripod, and it's not going to go anywhere. I have no complaints. I don't think it's 100% waterproof or they wouldn't give you a rain bag, but it's very thick, very padded well. No bag is perfect, but this is probably the best bag I have ever owned. And so just like the rest of you, now I've got a half a dozen bags over here on the shelf. What I plan on doing, we're going to take a trip out west uh, again this year, a couple trips. What I plan on doing is bringing everything with me like I always do. Between a small think tank bag, which is a, also a sling bag satchel, and this, I can carry everything, lenses and everything I own because I'm, I'm only down to one body now. If I'm going on a little bitty thing, I can take the small, load up the small bag, if I'm going a little bit larger thing or doing a wildlife thing, I can load up this bag with just what I need, and I think I'll be fine. Uh, $350, it's on sale right now for $300, $299, I think. But I'm very pleased, and so I think it's probably the best bag I've ever bought. So that's Steve Hardesty's review. So a little addendum to the uh, video that I was making about the top shelf camera bag. I took uh, my camera and lens out on a little walk this morning on a greenway, nice paved greenway, easy hike. And so I took a picture of some birds a while ago. I just had to pull this out, do this, bring this around like so. Here's my camera. Take pictures, 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 put it back. I've also got a bottle of water in here instead of my 70 to 200. Uh, that all worked real good. But what I have found out is that, um, uh, you know, I have to face the realization that even though I'm going to take this out west for some camera stuff, it's more of a professional working bag, not as much a backpacking bag. Uh, my 70 to 200 in here and my 24 to 105 and a bottle of water is just too darn heavy to carry like this. It, it really is. Now, if I take the other strap off and put it in a backpack, it's not bad. The, the two downsides to making it a long, rugged, hike-type backpack is number one, it has no pockets on the side for water. So that means you gotta put the water in there. You know, as long as you got the lid on tight and everything, you're fine. And uh, the other thing is the straps are very comfortable, but, you know, I do a lot of backpacking, or at least I used to when I was younger, and the chest strap is like really important. And they didn't put any kind of accommodation for a chest strap at all. The straps are nice and thick, uh, so they're very comfortable on the shoulder, but when you've got them here, they're still wanting to come apart like this. You can adjust it, tighten, and looser to find your sweet spot. But um, it's still, you know, I, I will take it and I will probably carry a 70 to 200 in it. And for the close stuff, I'll use my iPhone, which I also shoot in RAW on my iPhone, on my iPhone 13. Or I will carry the 70, to 200 in the pack and I'll carry my uh, camera with a wide lens for vistas I'll just click it on a I got to carry a peak design clip of course every time I do a video a plane's got to come over but um, so I'll carry a light lens with the DSLR on the clip and if I need the big lens it'll be here but uh, it's not the ideal backpacking thing 
but it's still much better than anything I have found. So there you go.